Knicks Fan TV joins me on the Goodyear Hotline, the Max Kellerman Show, presented by Progressive Insurance. CP. Speaking of the Lakers. Spe CP, I can't hear hang you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Every time CP hang comes on. on the show, he has some technical difficulty to get out of debating me. You can't, you can't hear me. Oh, boy, the old banana in the tail. Testing, huh? testing. Uh-huh. You should be able to no, hear me. I can't hear you, CP. Can anyone hear CP at all, Raj, on the air? You should be able to hear me now. Raj. No, no. They usually they hear his normal no. uh, technical yeah. difficulties that he has every time no, he's no, trying no. to help his brother out, you know, trying to get, you know, give somebody a upstart type of uh, hang, a, hang on, a hang on, guy, hang on. A, a break, and uh, he just won't get a new internet thing. So we got to go to the callers now. CP, what do you want? Dial up? First, I want you to comment on Dr. J's comments. Talking about the Nets are buying a championship like the Lakers. I, I don't think you can buy a championship in the NBA in a le league with a cap. You got to show like the Knicks are maybe doing now. Hey, we're a place that high-powered players want to come and play. What's your thoughts on Dr. J's comments? Oh, well, the good doctor's absolutely right. What the Nets are doing is buying a championship. If you look at it, listen, they, they were able to get James Harden. They have Kyrie. They have KD. But getting Blake Griffin, getting LaMarcus Aldridge, two guys who were, you know, max salary guys who were bought out and able to get them on veteran minimums, I mean, you technically have five guys on max contracts. They're definitely buying a championship. Hold on, wait a minute. Well, CP, what a bunch of nonsense. First of all, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge yeah, retired, retired today because of retired. his, he has a heart yeah. issue, right? And Blake Griffin, they were on max contracts. The reason they got bought out is because they're not only not max players, they're not all-star yeah. players. Really, they're not even starters yeah. anymore, let's be honest. That's not buying a champ. How's that buying a championship? Well, they they could have got, like, they, they want to play for the Nets because the Nets are really good. You, you practically have an all-star team in Brooklyn, Max. Come on, Max. You practically have an all-star team in Brooklyn. Like it's, so why don't the Knicks have an all-star team? On. If so, why don't we're the Knicks practically have an all-star team? Those same New York Knicks, four in a row, put some respect on name also beat the Lakers 111 to 96 on Monday night but you guys didn't want to book me on Tuesday oh, for crying you out loud smoke. for crying out loud the, the the Lakers beat the I mean the Knicks beat the Lakers no LeBron no AD get out of here with that listen first of all you say the Knicks are, are working on it. The Knicks are an all-star team in the sense they have one all-star. His name is Julius yeah. Randall, who, by the way, was drafted by the yeah. Lakers. If anything, the Knicks are trying to buy a championship. They paid Julius Randall when no one else wanted to. Let's if be the honest. The Knicks are building this slow and steady match. Number six seed in the East, lowest payroll in the league. Put some respect on their name. Julius went down to New Orleans, outshined Zion, but ESPN made Zion the story, as they always do. So on Knicks Fan TV, we cover it down the middle, and the story was definitely Definitely Julius Randle leading his team to four wins in a row. <laughs> Down the middle. Down the middle. Down what middle? <laughs> you come for it orange and blue. Down the middle. <laughs> ah. uh, <laughs> All right, look, yeah. CP, let's let's get realistic yeah. here. Max Kellerman Show, ESPN Radio, CP, the franchise, NBA analyst, and uh, Knicks fan TV. Um, I, I want to talk about this playing game because Mark Cuban recently said, that the playing game is in in hindsight in retrospect it's a mistake because people want to you know it's a compressed schedule and there could be injury concerns the idea here's mm -hmm. my thing since when does a seventh seed get to rest players get out of here with that it the what what this has done the play-in tournament is make the regular season more interesting which is the point dissuades teams from tanking which is the point yeah. and uh, and in terms of well well, there's an injury concern. Well, that's the compressed schedule. That's not about uh, um, a play-in tournament. But, like, also, like, the seventh seed's not supposed to get to rest, guys. That's for the one seed, the yeah. two seed. The seventh seed is complaining about resting, guys? What's your well, take? Well, look, you know, Cuban's concern is that the compressed schedule is, is uh, you know, putting extra wear and tear on the players. What the correlation is to player injuries, I'm not so sure. But he, he does have a point there in terms of, you know, these guys are playing every other day, and, and uh, so rest has to be factored in. The playing game, you know, every sport, the commissioner is looking to uh, maintain ratings, increase revenue, and make sure that the fans are engaged. So every, every sport, they're looking to, you know, switch up some aspects of the game to make it more enticing. The playing game, it, it in a way, prevents tanking. And, you know, from Cuban's point, the Mavs are sitting in the seventh seed in the West. They're a game behind Portland. They have the easiest schedule remaining in terms of uh, opponents' combined winning percentage. All they need to do is win their games, and they should be able to get into that sixth seed, and they won't have to settle for the playing game.
You know, like Herm Edwards said, man, you play to win the game. And so th- these are the rules. They have to play by it. Now, CP, CP the franchise, uh, NBA analyst, Knicks fans TV, uh, fan TV on Max Kellerman Show, ESPN Radio. Um, you're a Knicks yeah. guy. I, I used to be, and I saw the light, and I became a Lakers fan. My life has been much better since then. Now, listen, I want to ask you something, and mm-hmm. be honest. I, when I was uh, following the NBA, when you weren't even a twinkle in your yeah. father's eye yet, um, I, I remember thinking as a kid, damn, I wish the Knicks were run like the Lakers. Like, to me, the Lakers were the Yankees. They were run. They were a big, glamorous market. They were ran that way, and, and, and players wanted to play there, and they had the kind of cachet and the marquee value. And I used to see what they did. I was like, wait, hold on. How did they get Shaq? They got yeah. Shaq? Why don't the Knicks get Shaq? Can you be honest and just admit to the people who are hearing you in L.A. right now that as a Knicks fan, you wished the Knicks were the Lakers, right? Isn't that true? You wish the Knicks were the Lakers. They could be run like the Lakers. No, if I, if I wished the Knicks were the Lakers, I'd be a Lakers fan. I mean, not so long ago when the Lakers got LeBron James, you had Lakers fans standing. I'm right, I'm right by Staples Center. So you, you had Lakers fans protesting when the Lakers low-balled Tyron Lue in the contract that Jeannie Buss was running this team into the ground. You and Stephen A. were on first take saying that the Lakers need to sell the team. You know, Jeannie Buss needs to sell the team because they're being missed. I didn't say that. I didn't say Jeannie should sell I never said Jeannie should sell. Well, maybe that was your partner, Brick, a.k.a. Stephen A. Maybe it was Stephen A. But the point is, look, luck has, has a lot to do with it. You know, the Lakers always get their guy. They got Shaq. They ended up getting Powell Gasol. You know, LeBron came. You know, he, he wanted to uh, fulfill Hold his own court saying, endeavors. Lu- Hold up. Are you really yeah. saying it's yeah. luck? CP, how, hold up. Yeah. The Nets moved to New York. You blink. They have KD, James oh, Harden, geez. Kyrie Irving. The Lakers play in the same market as the Clippers. They've won 17. The Clippers have never been to a conference <laughs> finals. You have the nerve to sit there and say it's yeah. luck? It's it, luck. It partly is luck, especially in Brooklyn. Listen, KD and Kyrie chose the Nets, not because they were some well-run franchise. They were running from the smoke. They did not want the pressure that came with winning with the Knicks, <laughs> with the orange and blue. So they chose the lower oh, ground. LA, because if they win, they're good. If they lose, they're still good and they can still maintain their brand. Katie's on his LA. way to building a billion-dollar brand, and he can do that under the radar in Brooklyn. Why? Because no one cares. Lakers. Lakers fans, listen. Lakers fans, I want you to listen to this man, CP, the franchise. Think of the mental gymnastics he has to do to convince himself of this position. It's unbelievable. By the way, it's Jackie Robinson Day, right? Major League Baseball. Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier in 1947, became the first African-American player in the major leagues, you know, except for Babe Ruth, right? But anyway, the point is, when he did that, Branch Rickey, who invented the farm system in baseball and was instrumental in getting Jackie Robinson to the majors, Branch Rickey, used to say, unrelated to Jackie Robinson, but that's a segue, used to say, luck is the residue of design. The Lakers get lucky in the sense that that's the residue of design, CP. Now, they're telling me we have to wrap. Yeah. And um, you, you successfully cut this interview short by uh, faking the, the, uh, the uh, audio problems. What are you going to come up with next Listen, week? What's the excuse going to be? That was the diabolical Raj Groves. Listen, I was ready to come on Tuesday and yeah, give you the no. smoke after the vaunted Nick defense took care of the yeah, Lakers in Madison Square voice. Garden. But I already knew that you guys were going to come up with an excuse to dull down the momentum. But nevertheless, I'm here. I bring the traveling studio here to Los Angeles. I'll be back in New York next week in the studio to give you the full smoke on Nick's fan TV. I got you, CP. You just listen. Uh, whatever, whatever basement you do that from, your mom's basement or something. Tell her to spring for, for the wireless. Forget about the dial-up. It's ridiculous. CP the franchise, ladies and gentlemen. Check him out. He's excellent. Uh, Knicks fan TV. You should become a Lakers fan. Do that stuff for the Lakers. Be so much happier. The Max Kellerman. Sh-